Good morning, dear children. So last week we were doing subtraction of fractions, having different denominators. So let's do one sum that we did last week. I hope everyone of you have understood how to do it. When the denominators are different, you have to find the very good LCM. So here's one fraction. Okay? So we have 2 upon 3 minus 1 upon 9. So any sum, any fraction, you must first look at the denominators. If it's different, we have to find the LCM. Now LCM can be found in the rough ball. So we have to find the LCM 3 and 9. 3 1s are, 3 3s are, 3 1s are. 3 into 3 equals 9. So the LCM of 3 and 9 is 9. So you draw a line, write 9. Now, how many times is 3 going to 9? 3 goes to 9. 3 times, 3 3s are 9. How many times is 9 going to 9? 1 times 9, 1 is 9. Then you multiply these two. 3 2 is 6, 1 1 is 1. So, 6 minus 1, 5. Wasn't it very simple? It is simple, but you have to know how to find LCM and the different steps. So, you look at the denominators, find the LCM in your rough column, and then 3 goes to 9 3 times, 9 goes to 9 1 times. So, you multiply this number with the numerator. 3 2 is 6, 1 1 is 1. And 6 minus 1, 5. Now here is another sum. It is the same sum, 2 upon 3, 1 upon 9. But I have put a whole number in front. And to children, whenever you see a mixed fraction, what should we do? We must convert it into improper fraction. So let's convert. 3, 3 is a 9 plus 2, 11 upon 3 minus 9 on the 9 plus 1, 10 upon 9. Now we've got the fraction, an improper fraction. Okay? So whenever you see a whole number and a fraction, convert it into an improper fraction. Now this fraction will look like this only. So it's easier to do. So we find the LCM. We've already found the LCM 3 and 9. 9, 3 goes to 9 how many times? 3, 3 is a 9, 1. So 11 3s are 33 minus 10 1s are 10. 33 minus 10? 23. 23 upon 9. And this is an improper fraction. And when you get this type of fraction in your answers, convert it back into a mixed number. So let's divide 33 divided by 9. 9 twos are 18. Borrow 5. So we've got a new answer to 5 upon 9. So wasn't it easy? So let's do some more sums that have a whole number. Okay? So bear up your attention as to what you must do. It's just like addition. It's only that the signs are different. So, for 1 upon 2 minus 1, 1 upon 5. Let's do another one. 2, 3 upon 4 minus 3 upon 5. So, dear children, whenever you see a mixed number, what must you do? Convert it into improper fraction. 2 for the 8 plus 1, 9 upon 2 minus 5, 1 the 5 plus 1, 6 upon 5. Now what is the next step? Very good. You have to find the LCM of 2 and 5. 2 ones are, bring down 5 because 2 doesn't go to 5. 5 ones are. So 2 into 5. So dear children, what is the LCM of 2 and 5? It is 10. After you find the LCM, draw a line and write 10. 2 goes into 10 how many times? 5 times. 5 goes into 10 how many times? 2 times. So let's multiply these two. 9 fives are 45 
minus 6 to the 12. 45 minus 12. Let's go to the rough column. 45 minus 12. 5 minus 2, 3. 4 minus 1, 3. So we get 33 upon 10. So I hope you have understood this step. Okay, let's go. Mixed number, converted in power fraction, 2 for the 8 plus 1, 9, 5 on the 5 plus 1, 6. You get this in proper fraction. You find the LCM of 2 and 5. After you find the LCM, check how many times is 2 going to 10, 2 goes to 10, 2 fives are 10, 5 to the 10. Then you multiply these two, 9 fives are 45, multiply these two, 6 to the 12, then you subtract and you get 33 and convert this into a mixed number. Let's do it mentally. How many times does 10 go into 33? 10 1 is 10, 10 2 is 20, 10 3 is 30. 3 is 30, 31, 32, 33. What is the remainder? 3. 3 will become your numerator. And 3, 3 or 4, 10. Let's check the answer. 10 3 is 30 plus 3, 33. So easy, no? So you also, We've got a mixed number and a fraction. Here, you don't have a whole number. But it's not that difficult. Have a look. Wherever you see a mixed number, convert that into a improper fraction. 4 to the 8 plus 3, 11 upon 4. Now, you don't have to convert this. You can bring that this fraction down straight away. 3 upon 5. You just have to bring it down because there is no whole number. Now, find the LCM of 4 and 5. Use only prime numbers. 2 to the 4, bring down 5. 2 ones are, bring down 5. 5 ones. So 2 into 2 into 5. 5 to the 10, 10 to the. Very good. 20. 4 goes into 20 and then 4, 5 is 20. 5 goes into 20 and then 5, 4 is 20. Multiply these two, 11 5 is 55 minus 3 4 is 12. So after you finish that, 55 minus 12, how much? 40? 3. Very good. 43 or 4, 20. This is an improper fraction. So, <coughs> we have to convert it <coughs> into a mixed number. So, 43 divided by 20. 21 is a 20, 22 is a 40, 23 is a 16. But we've got only 43. So, 2 times 22 is a 40. 3. So, 2. 3 upon 20. Have you understood? Maybe some of you are still puzzled, no? So let's do two more sums. Okay? Because in class, I do a lot of sums to make you understand. Now, 6, 2 upon 4, minus 2, 1 upon 8. And let's do one more. 5, 3 upon 4 minus 2, 1 upon 6. Pay attention now. What should we do? It's a mixed number, so convert it into in proper fashion. 4, 6 are 24 plus 2, 26 upon 4 minus 8 to the 16 plus 1, 17 upon 8. Now you have converted. What is the next step? Very good. LCM of 4 and 8. 2 twos are 2 fours are. 2 ones are 2 twos are. 2 ones are. 2 twos are 4, 4 twos are 8. So the LCM of 4 and 8, 8. Okay? 4 goes to 8 how many times? 2 times. 8 goes to 8 how many times? 1 times. 26 twos are. We may not know. So we go to the rough column, 26, 2, 2, 6 are 12, 
plus 2 is 4, plus 1, 5. So we've got the answer 52 minus 71 is 70. So again, go to the rough column, subtract 70. 12 minus 7, 5. 4 minus 1, 3. So we've got 35 upon 8. So now we have to convert that into a mixed number. Let's do it mentally. Okay. It, 3 is 24, 8 4 is 32, 8 5 is 40. We cannot put 5 because we have got 35. So let's come 1 number 8. 4 is 32, 33, 34, 35. 3 upon 8. And that is your answer. Now still if you haven't understood, let's look at the last sum. Convert 4 5 is 20 plus 3. 23 upon 4 minus 6 to the 12 plus 1, 30 upon 6. What is the next step? Very good. We have to find the LCM of its two numbers 4 and 6. 4 and 6. 2, 2, za, 2, 3, za. 2, 1, za. bring down 3 and 3, 1. Za. So 3 to the 6, 6 to the 12. And same 12. 4 goes into 12 number times, 3 times. 6 goes into 12 number times, 2 times. Now we multiply these two. So write in your rough column, 23 minus another 3, 3 to the 9, 3 to the 6. So we've got 69 minus 32 to the 2 3 is 6, 2 1 is 2, 26. So we've got this 69 minus 26. So let's do it in the rough column. Minus 26. 9 minus 6, 3. 6 minus 2, 4. So 43 upon 12. So, what should we do? Convert that. And to convert that, we have to divide or we can do it mentally. So, 43 divided by 12. 12. 3 is 36. Borrow. 30 minus 6, 7. So, here is the answer. 12 goes into 43 how many times? 3 times. Leaving a remainder of 7. And you have divided by 12. So it's very easy. Okay? If you go step by step, it will be very easy. First, if there is a mixed number, you have to convert that into a power fraction. After that, you find the LCM. After finding the LCM, see how many times the denominator goes into this LCM. Right on top and multiply those two. Same, multiply those two and subtract. It's very easy. Keep a clear mind when you want to understand things, okay? Don't get distracted. Don't look here and there. And you will understand. So dear children, till the next class, see you and bye.